Hola! Today we're going to talk about our residency process and we'll tell you about the three appointments we had. The first one in San Antonio, Texas, and then the second and third one here in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll Hello. Hola. Hola. <laughs> here we are in Mexico with our residency cards. We are finished. Yay. But we want to tell you how it went for us and our experience here in Puerto Vallarta. But you remember we talked about how we got our residency visas in San Antonio, Texas. You have to start the process outside of Mexico. You just got to so do it. We chose San Antonio, Texas because we have family there. And we made the appointment about a month before. So everything's by email in San Antonio when we did it. And then we got our appointments, got in there, showed all our financials. They said, yay, you Everything get your worked visa. Out. Mm -hmm. But Fantastic. we had 180 days to get from, next, from San Antonio to Mexico. We decided to go in two months and we contacted a facilitator here in Puerto Vallarta to help us with the finalizing of our residency, which meant, again, give her lots of lead time. I contacted her right after we got our residency visa stamp in our passport and uh, gave her the flight information, which was about six weeks away. And then we hopped on a plane, got here. The next day we had the appointment with our facilitator, paid all of our pesos, mm -hmm. which was a lot of pesos. And who did we use in Puerto Vallarta? Gringo for gringos. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. So then we ended up um, meeting with them, paying our pesos, and giving our passport. And we still had, oh yeah, they took our FMM card too. Yeah, it was scary, nothing. nothing. But two days later, we met with the INM officials. And our facilitator made the appointment for us. So all we did was show up at 9.15, like they told us. And at 9.30, we got called in, and they took our biometrics, Full on fingerprints, not just tips. Take all your rings off, everything off, glasses off, get your mug shots done, <laughs> and um, pull all the hair away from your hair face. Away. And then it's mug shots, so it's right, left, right. and straight ahead. So And the pretty. challenging thing for me was <laughs> you have to do a signature. It has to be exactly like your passport, but I didn't anticipate that it would be one of those electronic uh, stylus uh, signatures. So. I signed it, took a deep breath, and she just looked at me like, okay, you did it right. You did good. Keep moving on. <laughs> and then we left, and we got our passports back, but then they sent us an email with a newt, N-U-T, whatever that says. Sounds like a little know. animal. <laughs> but it was the kind of thing we had to then go make a copy, so we jumped in an Uber, go over to Office Depot, make a copy, and hold that. So that was a proof that we were in the process of getting our residency. Otherwise, we had nothing else to yeah. show. Yeah, and here in Mexico and Puerto Vallarta, you just can't walk out of where you are and get a copy made. Either they're not open, um, so we had to actually find a large office depot, which is about four miles away, and that worked out, but you really have to plan all these things. Because, it's just you not know, easy. Some people say, oh, just do it all yourself, you know, and you go in there with your paperwork, and if there's something wrong with it, you have to redo it, and then you would have to get run over and get another appointment or you just, some people say they don't need an appointment, they just kind of walked in because it's a small office. Puerto Vallarta is not small. Yeah, more of a medium office, I and would say. And there's no bank right next door to pay your fees. <coughs> and so our facilitator took care of all of that and it was wonderful. Amazing. Yeah. And so then after we got our passports back, like I said, we waited a week and we got the email that said, your cards are ready. So we got in the Uber again. This time they wanted us there at 8.15 in the morning. Early in the morning. Which is really <laughs> early for us. But we arrived and our facilitator was already there with our tickets, meaning he'd already checked us in. And we were number one and two to pick up cards. So then about 9.30, we waited about an hour Yeah, it was an hour wait. And you never know, like why couldn't we show up at 9.15 like before? Yeah. Maybe they decided to start early one day. We don't know. So we were there um, chatting with the people who were waiting also. And we go in and all we had to do was sign like a notary page 
and then sign a stack of papers. That was obviously our financial information from a long time ago in San Antonio. And then signed that we picked up our cards and, and that was it. We're done. It was so much easier using the facilitator, um, just a stress free knows what they're doing and um, we're done. Yeah, we're uh, done. We, we have our residency Okay, parts. but why do we have residency and not just do the two? Mexico visa? is changing their immigration uh, laws. Okay. Um, they may get the tourist visas used to work for everyone. Used to automatically get 180 days. Now you can get uh, 10 days or you might get 180 days based upon who's at the uh, entry uh, points. Right, and we didn't want to stress over that because we don't know where we're going to be in six months to have to hop over a border and do it again. So this way, Michael has permanent residency. He never has to do this again. I have temporary, and that means I'm going to have to go back in a year and do my biometrics over again to get my card that says three more years. But we know it won't be an issue because the financials, they don't worry about the financials, and we have a good team that will lead us through that also. Right. So that's our experience, and we hope that you have the same kind of stress-free experience if you decide to become a resident. It really was a breeze. Yeah. Using our gringo for gringos. So really easy. That's it from now. Hasta luego. See ya. Ciao.